champion. Right? Well, the season is a process, and obviously you want, you'd love to come out and score 70 in the first game, and you got to work through the process, and every single week is important. And you got to grow as a player, as coaches, it's, it's the cohesiveness of offense. We, we need to continue to grow from week to week. Mark, I was see, and you probably answered this earlier, Mark, obviously it's such that he wasn't pleased with the offensive performance. What's it like being, you know, back in this role, being a coordinator with the play caller, where after game one, you kind of got to, well, he, he, like, he called, called the offense out, basically. No, I take responsibility for that. I mean, I, absolutely, you got to. You know, and, and obviously it's not the performance we wanted, and we need to get back this week. There were a couple times with flare screens and things that you were outnumbered. It seemed like there was one blocker out there and three defenders right there. You wouldn't draw that up. What's happening to mess that up? It seemed like uh, when Cody or Jalen would get the ball, there were so many players around. Oh, the, I mean, those are sometimes your reads. You know, I mean, the ball should be handed off in those scenarios. What about the running back spot? It looked like Elijah had a little bit of burst there late. Did you like what you saw from him? No, good, good to see. He's had a good camp. He's, he's, he's physically very skilled, and so good burst. And so I'm glad he got the opportunity to show that. And really on the touchdown run, it was a very good run. What about, too, that offensive line with just, you know, not having goal in there and just kind of how that leads to the shuffle for everybody else? And you got Kevin Jarvis, who's a guard, playing tackle. How tough is that when you don't have the cohesion up front, I guess? Part of football. There's nothing to do about it. Can you tell us how much Jarvis had at tackle prior to the game, like one day or three days or five days? Did he have the full film of looking at the edge blockers and what he was going to see out there as opposed to right there? I mean, it's not a normal preparation of being there the whole fall camp and spring, and I don't know the number of days. When you talk about those running backs, I mean, is there a difference when a guy has played that position in high school versus where Connor and Laverne are trying to pick it up? at this point in their, their football careers? I, I don't think so. Those guys are, are high football IQ guys and really understand the position. What do you think of Brian's performance? I know the running game struggled, but it looked like he, he, he looked like he threw the ball with accuracy for the most part and just maybe some type of receivers or covers and type of, type of thing. No, I, I, I thought Brian played well. You know, he, he had a comfort in the pocket. You know, he, he used his legs when he needed to, threw it with accuracy, and you feel like he's got some confidence there. He looked, he looked better to me than he did last year for most of the season. He looked more like 17 or 18. Yeah, he was injured last year. Yeah. But like just moving, you know, especially getting out of his feet. Yeah, I mean, you're more confident in that capacity of not worrying to get hurt or anything like that, but, but played aggressively. The drops and the penalties, is that something that you would expect to see diminish a lot this week and maybe disappear? Yeah, I mean, you never want to see him, you know, not in game one, not in game two, so those things have to be eliminated. Do you feel like some things, I know they talk a lot in the first week, you don't normally see everything. Do you feel like there's still a lot more in the tank for this offense? A lot of things people haven't seen that they're going to see over the next few I mean, weeks? There always is every week, you know, so I mean, obviously there's some things we're going to do this week we didn't do last week. You kind of feel about what we kind of heard the crowd a little bit, I guess. How do you keep that frustration from getting in those guys' ears? How, what kind of things do you tell those guys about what the last eight weeks have been? No, I mean, they, they know what the last eight months have been. So, I mean, you, you got to tune in the play. you got to tune in the moment right now, and that's that's our job to do. Brad, what can you, you say about... Last one, and then Coach Dressel over here, too. Uh, what can you say about just the mood and energy of practice today, I guess, after after Friday, after uh, Mark's comments earlier today? Was there any kind of different energy or buzz, I guess, from that side of the ball that you noticed? Well, they're, they're going to respond to the head coach. And, and it was obviously, you know, they know it, and it was a very good practice. And so our guys will get their mindset right. It's a great group of kids. The physicality. Thank you. Um, was it, were you surprised? 